Hi angels, how are y'all doing? So I know I haven't recorded a video or uploaded a video in like two weeks. I am so, so sorry. Um, I have lost <laughs> my interest for The Sims 4 at this very particular moment. So in my free time, I have actually been playing a lot, a lot of The Sims 3. And today, I thought I would give y'all an update of my O'Leary um, Hightower, not Hightower anymore, <laughs> current household in The Sims 3. So, I know y'all are probably wondering, Marion, who is this man that we're looking at? Like, who is this fine, Hershey, beautiful, black man, Sim, <laughs> that's in front of us? Um, and we are going to talk about all of that in this current household. Um, Miss Ariel does look a little bit different as well. She got a little makeover and her hair color is like auburn now. It is actually fall in my game. That is why she is wearing very fallish colors. And I'm actually going to take them off of pause so I can explain everything to you guys. Okay, so hi everybody. If this is your first time clicking on one of my current households, I am going to put a link right here where you can go back and watch the rest of my current households so you're not so unfamiliar with this family and their process and who they are. So right now we are actually at Jamal's house. Now Jamal is Ariel's boyfriend. Yes, he is. So his name is Jamal Miller. We are actually um, in his house right now, if y'all can see. Um, this is in our house. Um, and yeah, like I love his house for one. As y'all can see, um, he is a witch. Yes, he is. Um, and if you watched my last current household, you would know that the twins are also witches as well. But without further ado, I'm actually going to go ahead and introduce them to y'all. Okay, guys. So, this is Miss Lila. Um, I don't remember if she is the oldest of the twins, but I, I can't really remember. But this right here is Miss Lila. She was a toddler in our last current household. And as you can see, now she is a beautiful child. She's over here playing on the sofa and going for a little bit of a joy ride. So, <laughs> yeah, that is what she is doing. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and read a little bit about her. So this is Miss Lila O'Leary Hightower. O'Leary comes from her mom. Hightower comes from her dad. If you did not know or if you're new and this is your first time watching Current Household, um, these children are of mixed race. So, of course, their mom is black, as you can tell, and their dad is um, Asian. He is supposed to be right here. Okay, so this is their dad, Mr. Dean Hightower. He is right here. But as you can tell, he doesn't live in the same city as us anymore. So we don't really see him like that. <laughs> so her traits, she is insane, unlucky, and artistic. And her favorite um, music is indie. Her favorite food is spaghetti. Her favorite color is gray. And she is a child. So she is like our very um, wild type of twin. And, you know, I've been having a really fun time just playing with her and getting to know her. She is definitely one of a kind, to say the least. And I cannot wait to see where she goes in life, guys. Alrighty, so next we have our other twin, so this right, <laughs> y'all, I'm so sorry. She is like sidged at the moment and um, she needs a bath because <laughs> Cause she looks a mess. Oh my gosh. Um, This actually is a good time for me to introduce her traits. So she is a perfectionist. She is eccentric and she is friendly. Um, and that is actually <laughs> 
why one of the reasons why she is in the state that she is right now is because she is eccentric and she tends to use the chemistry table a lot. So yes, that is Miss Navea. I almost forgot to say her name. <laughs> so this right here is Miss Navea O'Leary Hightower. Um, she is the twin of ne of Lila. If y'all could not tell, her favorites are Spiceberry, um, Cobbler, and her favorite music is hip hop. And of course, she has the same dad as her twin sister. So yeah, um, I can actually show y'all some of the relationships. I always forget to show them in my current households. Um, these are some of her friends or her associates from her elementary school. Um, I'm actually going to show the town we are playing in in a second, but right now I'm just going over some stuff. So yeah, this is some of her friends. Lastly, we have Mr. Jason. He is over here um, playing with, I don't know what that is. It looks like a llama maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, as y'all can tell, if you can't tell actually, he is really, really tall. So I didn't want the last current household just to be, I wanted there to be a change from the last current household to this current household. So Jason is getting a little bit older. Right now, I feel like he's maybe 11, 12-ish in age. Um, he's on his way to high school in the next couple of years. And I wanted that to be reflected. You know, during that age, your limbs are kind of sprouting out and you're getting taller <laughs> and all that new stuff. So I wanted that to be represented in my game. And that is why Jason is very, very, very tall compared to his sisters. So yeah, that is Mr. Jason. He is their firstborn. He is the oldest. Um, and his favorites are right here. His traits, he loves to swim. He's a supernatural fan. And he loves the cold. So if you remember when he was first born, he had the hydrophobic trait. But I decided um, that, you know, since we live in a town that has a very nice town area, middle downtown area, um, and they go to the pool a lot, he overcame his fear of swimming and now he loves it. So I see him in the future maybe traveling to Isla Paradiso and living there. That's what I might do with him in the future. I don't really know yet. Um, he's still really, really young. So there's that. And I forgot to actually show y'all the family tree. So this is the family tree. Um, this is their grandparents. This right here is Miss Ariel's parents. And then, of course, that's their dad. And, yeah, we have the twins. And I told y'all in the last current household that Dean <laughs> is remarried. Mm -mm -mm. And they have a daughter together named Misty. So, yeah, guys, um, I wanted to just give y'all a little update on that. But back to the overall storyline. So, um, Jamal and Ariel actually met at the festival downtown, and they hit it off very well. Jamal was very taken with Miss Ariel, and they basically just hit it off. And now we're here. They're dating. They are getting to know each other. Their kids get along very, very, very well. And yeah, like I just, I think this is a love story in the making. I feel like they're going to end up being fair game. Um, and he is a witch, if I did not tell y'all. <laughs> so yeah, he is a witch. He is definitely, um, we're, okay, we're going to get into the lore of this town pretty soon. But yeah, so Jamal is a witch. Um, he is in the journalism career. And right now we only know three traits about him because again, we're still getting to know him. But he's a vehicle enthusiast. He's a cat person. And he is rebellious. He actually has a cat somewhere around here. Oh, there they are. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Um, but this is his cat, Jax. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so we did move to a new town, as you can see, by all these new sims here, and Ariel has met some new friends, so she finally has some really, really nice friends now, and she's just hitting it off with the people in this town. This is, to me, um, a supernaturalish type of town, so when I was, we're in Salmon Woods, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the ball, boom, we're in Salmon Woods. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I picked Salmon Woods for one because it has like a little des not deserty um foresty type of feel feel not field feel and when um I was picking a town to stay in I wanted something really foresty that was similar to Cape Cod or something of that nature so that is why I picked Salmon Woods and I also wanted it to have a large supernatural population similar to how Midnight Falls is because the twins are witches <laughs> so we need people to you know help them and develop their crafts in um their alchemy and things and luckily we found Mr. Jamal I mean we didn't know he was a witch when he when we got with him but of course now we do but back to Ariel's friends okay so this is her best friend Miss Caitlin Jefferson and they actually um work together she's her boss and then we have her other best friend named Lisa Christensen Carter. She is actually married to Mr. Michael here. And they recently just had a little son. Um, and then lastly, this is Ariel's other last friend. This is Nija Lakes. And yeah, they're newly friends. They haven't been friends that long. But I just... I'm loving them <laughs> so, 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 so much. Okay, so as you can see, we have a new family member in this um, household, and this right here is Mr. J. O'Leary. J. O'Leary is actually Ariel's father. So um, her parents live on this little island, and her dad wanted to come visit because her mom, um, if you didn't know, she comes from a celebrity household, and her mom is a famous writer, so her mom tends to travel around a lot when she goes on book tours and stuff so her dad was just like you know what Ariel can I come and stay with you for a little bit I'll travel my job over there he's a chef by the way and yeah so basically he is now our roommate and I love this because the kids get to grow up and see their grandfather all the time and I just love that for okay them. so right. this right here is Jamal's son he is literally so adorable to me. He has his father's eyes. Um, His father's eyes are kind of like this hazel color. Just uh, love it. And he dyed his hair. So his original hair color is black. But he wanted to dye it and Jamal let him. Um, But this is their, this is, this is Jamal's son, Elias. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. <laughs> but this is Mr. Um Elias Miller. And as you can tell, this is their home. Um, I actually redid this home myself. I think it's just so, so, so cute. This is the downstairs area, and this is the upstairs area. Um, I'm just, one, happy that the kids get along really well. Ugh, love that for them. So I'm actually going to pause, and I'm going to show y'all the world. Alrighty, guys. So if I didn't say before, they are living in the beautiful town of Salmon Woods. I love this town, especially in fall. Like, look at all of these trees. Ugh. Y'all, I just, I love it so much. Um, and one of my favorite things about Salmon Woods is the fact that it has a dive lot. Love it. Like, just love it, love it, love it. So, so much. And Ariel and her kids and her dad live right up here in this lot. Um, this is the same house <laughs> that they had at the last, in the last world that I was in. I love this house so much and I just refuse to give it up. Like I'm, no, they're going to have this house literally forever and I'll just keep making adjustments to it. Um... So yeah, this is their home. It is so cute, especially like with my new lighting mod. It just, everything is just so pretty to me. Ugh, so love that. This is the new uh, girls room. Um, I love this. I It took me a while to figure out the color palette and all that, but I am so happy with the way. I'm trying to turn this light on and it is not working. <laughs> there we go. Turn on all lights. Okay, so I really wanted their room to be representative of them, and I feel like this room in particular is, we have like these little paintings up here, I think that are so, so, so cute, 
And they have their little toy boxes and stuff. And I tried to keep the theme of their favorite colors combined in this room. Um, so yeah, and if you remember, Jason has little, these same pictures in his room, except they're ones of a boy. And, you know, I wanted the girls to have representations of their Black historical heritage as well. So that is why these little paintings are in here. And if you can see, they have their little magic wands right here. Ugh! Love it, y'all. I just, I really snapped on this room. Like, please tell me I did not snap because I did. Like, if you said I didn't, you're lying. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so now I'm going to show y'all Jason's room. Um, I really didn't change much. I just wanted it to reflect the fact that he is a little bit older. So he got some new bed. What are these called? He got some new covers, um, and he likes baking because his granddad is here and his granddad is a chef. So, yeah, that's where this came from, and he has these little watermelon monster um, type of cushions in his room. And, yeah, he still has his little pictures up from when he was younger. So, yeah, that's really the only thing that has changed in this particular house. Alrighty, so now that we are back in the Miller household, <laughs> um, I just wanted to give y'all a little bit of a current update on my current household. Um, I really haven't gotten too much in the storyline. It's not as developed and story-esque as I would like it to be, but the next one will be so, so, so much better. But I hope y'all enjoyed this particular current household. It was kind of all over the place. Again, I haven't recorded a video in like forever, so forgive me, guys. Um, but yeah, that is going to be the end of this current household. I hope y'all enjoyed. Tell me what y'all are thinking of Jamal. Like, is he fine? Is he cute? Do you want him in your game? Do you like Ariel's new haircut? Um, how are you liking, um, the girls glow up? Like, now you can finally see what they look like. Do you think they look more like Ariel or Dean? What about um, Jason's little update? Tell me. Let's comment and chat it up down below. Um, I love you guys, and I will see y'all in my next video. Mwah! Bye, angels.